So the demonstration for this week is, um, Danny's giving me a thumbs up, I'm not sure why. Okay, uh, <laughs> um, I did a good job on something, I guess. The demonstration for this week is how to add an adjustable strap in two different ways. So in my demonstration, I'll show you how to add an adjustable strap by attaching it to the bag. So similar to that Lilium laptop bag that I showed you earlier. So this bag is a, this strap is attached to the bag using a small tab of fabric right here. And the purse hardware needed is um, a metal rectangle and a slider. So the slider is always important because the slider is what makes the strap adjustable. So we're gonna show you a short clip right now on how I made the adjustable strap in this version with the tab attached to the side of the bag. Okay, turn the exterior of your bag right side out and then we're gonna go ahead and attach that strap extender to the metal rectangle. So I'm going to attach mine to the left side of my bag. Either is fine, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold that strap extender in half so that the raw edges are touching. And then I'm gonna slide that metal rectangle on the fabric. I'm gonna center that strap extender on the side panel. Again, raw edges aligned and then pin it in place. Then I'm gonna take this over to the sewing machine and stitch that down using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Okay, now we're gonna attach the strap to the opposite end of the bag as the strap extender's on. So again, we're gonna center that strap, raw edges aligned. And then again, let's take this over to the sewing machine and sew that down using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Okay, now we're gonna attach the metal slider. So your slider might have a bar in the middle that moves up and down, or it might have just a static bar that doesn't move. Either one is fine. So I'm gonna slide this on the strap. So the right side of the strap is the side that's currently against the side panel. This is the right side of the strap. So I'm gonna grab it from the other end, the right side, and I'm gonna weave it over and under that middle bar so that it looks like this. Okay, so I'm gonna take the loose end of the strap and I'm gonna weave it through the metal rectangle. So again, as it looks from here, that's the right side of the strap extender. I'm gonna slide it through this end. I'm gonna take the loose end and you can go ahead and push some fabric through the slider just so it's out of your way. I'm gonna weave this through the underside over and under that middle bar. Okay, so give yourself a little bit of room. If you need to pull some of the strap out, you can. I'm gonna fold the raw end under, just like this. And then I'm gonna stitch the strap to itself. So the, the portion that came through the slider, that's what you're gonna be sewing down, to, down against. And again, if you need to move some strap out of your way, you can push some more through if you need to, to give yourself enough room. Okay, so I'm gonna take this over to the sewing machine. I'm gonna sew an eighth of an inch away from the pressed edge, and I'm gonna sew a quarter of an inch away from the pressed edge, and that adjustable strap will be finished. All right, so I saw some questions in the comments about what the trim was that I used for the laptop bag. Actually, the trim on the laptop bag and the black on the Tudor bag are both faux leathers. Um, we're calling them top grain faux leathers from the shop. So that's at SoSweetness.com. We have a special tab for faux leathers and they're, both of them are listed there. So the second demonstration that I have for you today is for how to make an adjustable strap that's detachable. So most commonly an adjustable strap is detachable if it has a swivel clip on it and the swivel clip is usually attached to either a d-ring or a triangle ring or some other form of purse hardware usually attached to a tab on the side of the bag so um, because this is detachable you can go ahead and use the handles and when you need a crossbody bag you can just go ahead and attach the swivel clips to the side of the bag and so this second demonstration for tonight, Danny's gonna put up on the screen right now, is 
how to make an adjustable strap that's detachable. Okay, now it's time to make the shoulder strap um, and it's adjustable. So if you're using that option, you will press and top stitch your strap in the same manner that you did with both of the handle pieces. So I've got mine here already with the top stitching on it. Okay, so go ahead and pull out your ruler and we're gonna mark on one end of the strap, half inch in and also three inches in from that short raw edge. Okay, you're gonna fold at those marks and press. So it will look like that. Okay, now you're gonna take out your metal slider. So this slider should be one inch in width um, in the center of the hardware. And your slider might have a middle bar that moves or it might have a static bar that just stays in place. Either one is fine. Okay, we're gonna take that strap and thread it through the bar. Okay, so we're gonna nestle that middle bar in that three inch marking that we made. So right there. Okay, and that short end will stay pressed under. On the wrong side of the strap, we're gonna stitch that down an eighth of an inch away from the end of the strap and also a quarter of an inch away if you're using quilting cotton. If you're using something that you can cut raw like leather or vinyl, you may instead wish to stitch it down like this because it'll be easier and less layer. So either option, if you're using quilting cotton, keep that half inch edge folded under. If you're using cork or leather, you can feel free to leave the edge raw. And if you wish to do so, you can also um, place a rivet there. Okay, now we're going to add one of the swivel clips and this is the right side of the handle and the swivel clip is sort of going to be face down so that it looks like this. Okay, so I'm going to grab the other loose end of my strap and I'm going to thread it over and under again that middle bar. Okay, so on this end of the strap, I'm again gonna take my ruler and make markings a half inch away from the short end and also two inches away. And we're gonna use these two markings to attach the second swivel clip, which will make the strap an adjustable strap. So here's that last swivel clip. And I'm gonna press or finger press at those two markings and the swivel clip is going to nestle on that two inch marking right there. Again, if you're using quilting cotton, feel free to use both of those markings so that you can fold that raw edge under. If you're using cork or leather, you may wish to just leave that edge raw as is. So again, we're gonna sew a quarter of an inch away from the short end and also an eighth of an inch to secure that end of the strap. Okay, now you have an adjustable strap. We'll place that to the side for just a minute. Okay, so that's my demonstration on how to make an adjustable strap two different ways. And I think either one of those methods will serve you well depending on what type of purse hardware and what you want your finished look in your bag to be. So I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope it was helpful. As I've mentioned, I had a lot of questions about that this past week, so I always wanna help out and create a demonstration based on questions that I've gotten. So feel free to either comment in the Facebook group or drop me an email. My email is sarah at soulsweetness.com, sarah with no H. If you have a burning question that would be 
better represented in um, a demonstration video. And I feel like especially the adjustable strap is one of those things that you might read it in a pattern and it might be slightly confusing, but I think seeing it done in person or in a video makes it sort of uh, crystal clear. So hopefully that was helpful.